Okay, so for this test, we're going to do things slightly differently. Um, the ingredients are the same. 310 grams of water, 480 grams of strong white bread flour, 10 grams of salt, and 12 grams of fresh yeast. Now we're going to mix slightly differently. The water's already in the bowl. We're going to add the fresh yeast, which is a bit sticky because it was previously frozen. Then we will let the ank mix that up until it's incorporated into the water. Now that the yeast is uh, dissolved in the water, we're going to start adding the flour bit by bit. Now, that seems to have mixed quite well, but I suspect that we're still looking at a lot of that flour on the outside of the ball. And that means, of course, that it's not incorporated throughout. But that is giving us um, definitely uh, a ball of dough. Now, it's very saggy, so clearly the gluten hasn't developed yet, and that needs a decent amount of mixing. I'm going to mix this long today. Um, because one thing um, we have discovered uh, in the previous experiments is that it does take time to knead with the ank. So um, I'm going to set this immediately for about 15 minutes and we'll come back and see what it looks like uh, afterwards. <laughs> Okay, so we've had 15 minutes of mixing in the ank, and look at that. That is certainly a ball of dough. Let's, uh, let's see what it's like. Wow. Now that is definitely different from anything that we've experienced um, in the ank so far. So it seems that Throwing it all in together didn't work for me. Um, auto leasing for 75 minutes didn't work for me. But this is not looking too bad. Now, if I just wet my hands a little bit, let's, uh, let's see if we can window pane this. Well, it's certainly getting there. It feels silkier. It feels um, softer. It's quite tight. It's not got a lot of extensibility. And now that would suggest to me that the gluten is developing. But if we ball this, we can see that well, it's not moving as much as I thought it would. It's a little bit lively, a little bit droopy. There we go, as you can see. Um, so, radical approach, because this 15 minute mix has definitely led to uh, um, what I believe to be quite a, um, a better dough. Remember, this is only 65% hydration, so we expected it to be stiff. We're not talking bagels, but we are talking quite a, um, a thick loaf, and that's how I like it. So we want this to work. I'm going to give this um, another five minutes, I think, for a total of 20, um, and let's see what we end up with. <laughs> Okay, so we're at uh, approximately 20 minutes of mixing. Um, let's have a look at what we've got. 
Now it's tacky, but it's not horribly sticky. You can see that that is definitely approaching um, the kind of silky dough that I've been looking for. Let's see what happens if we try and window pane. Now I, I'm looking at that through the light. Um, I'm sorry you can't see that on camera. It's, it's not bad, but I think when we get to a point, it's gonna break. There we go. So I just watched a, a YouTube video from somebody else mixing about a 75% hydration. Um, and it took them 20 minutes to get a great window pane. I'm, I'm inclined to maybe throw away this dough um, if need be. Um, but let's, let's see if we can get to a point where we're almost over mixing. I'm going to give this another five minutes. <laughs> And I should add that the speed here is only uh, about three o'clock on the dial. So not particularly fast, but you can see that gentle massage and then flip from the scraper. So the dough is definitely getting worked, albeit gently. So we're back, <clears throat> um, where are we at now? Uh, I think we've had 25 minutes in total. Let's have a look. This is definitely softer and silkier. I kinda, I kinda like this. There's a little bit of surface tearing as we stretch. Let me try uh, window painting again. In some ways this feels uh, tighter than it did before. Um, In the interest of science, <clears throat> we're going to give this a bit longer. And I don't think five minutes is making a big appreciable difference. So I'm going to leave that in there for another 10 minutes. And we're back after a total of 35 minutes mixing, which is an insane amount of time, really. Um, so I'm not going to do any more mixing. So I'm going to remove the uh, sticky roller and have a look at what this dough is doing. So this is interesting. Okay, there's certainly stretchability there. Now, between 20 and 25 minutes, there didn't seem to be much going on. Now this is, <laughs> look, look, look at how this has changed between 25 and 35 minutes. I think this is probably indicative of uh, over kneading now because it's just so sticky. Um, and I think we had better results after 25 minutes. Look, out of interest, we're gonna uh, put this in a loaf tin and, <laughs> and see what it does. Um, actually, we're gonna do a first rise um, and then we'll transfer it to a, a loaf tin. Um, definitely see the gluten in the flour there um, it's very sticky interesting how the properties change isn't it over time um, far stickier than it was at uh, 20 and 25 minutes um, but we are getting some window painting it's still a bit lumpy in the window pane test i'm going to have to find a way of getting light underneath the camera so that you can see this um, but again, not quite what I would have expected or indeed wanted. Um, but we've learned something. 20 minutes is certainly uh, enough to get us to where we need to be. Um, might be interesting to try this again, maybe with a slightly higher hydration, maybe with a bit of oil. Maybe a bit of oil will uh, will not only give me softer bread, um, but um, it might help with the mixing. I mean, look at how sticky this is. This is incredible. Um, but 
All I can do is bake it and see. All right, um, we'll come back and see how that looks in a bit. <laughs> 